Okay, I need you to start. Subway. Hi. No, I need you to. Hi. Oh, what can I get for you, ladies? Um, I will have a Cobb salad, no blue cheese. Cobb salad, no beets. Mm -hmm. Cobb salad, no bacon. Cobb salad, no eggs. Okay, tell them. Are you listening carefully, Tracy? Tell them to take the offer up to 185. Repeat after me, Tracy. 185. And call me the second you hear back. My assistant, it's almost not worth having one. I know. Really? I know. Yesterday I said to Allison, go to the pharmacy, get me a pair of black pantyhose. She came back and said they didn't have any. I said, did you try another pharmacy? I mean, really? Or Bloomingdale's. What's wrong with trying Bloomingdale's? Yes. Yeah. I don't care. If only I could be my own assistant. You can yeah. be. Fire your assistant and don't hire a replacement. No, that's not what I mean, Julie. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Oh, gee. Oh, Hello, Tracy. Oh, okay, tell them 190. 190. Oh, great. 190? Oh. What? What are you up to? $190 million. <gasps> We're assembling a parcel at Midtown. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh. Yes. Oh, that is yeah. so great, Big. Cassie. Big. A parcel of what? Buildings. We're going to tear them all down and put up a high rise. To your parcel. Thank you. Oh, salute. And enough about you, here's to me. As of yesterday, I am the senior vice president in charge of corporate publicity. <gasps> no. Which means I get a raise and I can borrow half a million dollars uh, at 2% if I want to. Um, raise. Um, if you want to. <sighs> so how's your job, Julie? Oh, it's, um... I can only imagine. Heartbreaking. So sad. Painful. Not in a bad way. Excuse me. Oh, God, I forgot. Oh, excuse me. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hey, Tracy. Oh, I have got to interview you for this piece that I'm writing. Sure, Annabelle, great. I'd be honored. Call Julie about interview. Find out about Tracy. I don't know. I haven't lunch right now. I just started calling and find out. I hear you under the No. I cannot computer coach you every day while I'm at my girlfriend. What is it about? The article. It's about our generation turning 30. With people turning 30. Oh, my life. I am so busy. Don't know when I can fit you in. May I remind you, I don't want to see you. You want to see me. Yeah. Would a breakfast work? I believed her. What kind of idiot am I? She said. It's about a generation turning 30. What'd you expect? Annabelle was always a liar. Julie Powell, once the editor of the Amherst Literary Magazine, the one we all knew would be the one, tent for eight years before giving up on her novel, and now works in a cubicle as a mid-level bureaucrat attempting to deal with the after effects of 9-11. Oh. Oh, God. You memorized it? How pathetic. She left so much out. Anyway, the picture was good. I looked fat. Just your face. 